What's up, Rare Candy? This is Zach Lesage, and I'm here with an opinion in video form that goes over the new Turn 1 rules. Right now, before Sword and Shield is released, you are able to, on your first turn, you can attach an energy, play item cards, play stadium cards, play supporter cards, but you cannot attack. We've had some pretty lax rules so far. So with the new rules, if you go first, you can attach an energy, play items, play a stadium, but you cannot play a supporter card. And as much as that sounds minimal to some, it's one of the biggest rule changes we've had in a long time. I honestly don't remember the last time we changed our turn one rules. I don't think we did it for Sun and Moon. I really don't remember the last time we changed our turn one rules. It, it, it almost changes the way we play and it's gonna definitely change the way that we think. So the goal of this video is to inform you on how you should react to these changes and how you should properly plan for these changes when you're playing in tournament. The biggest difference between the rules, again, is that you have, you can't play supporter if you go first. So why should you go first or second or when should you go first and second are the immediate responses that I usually get from that. So I want to go over a few cards first that I think can change your way that you think about it. And if your deck plays any of these, you might be able to go first. So if you have Zacian V, one of the new V cards from Sword and Shields, you can use Intrepid Sword on your first turn and you want to kind of attach extra energies, draw some extra cards. It's an amazing ability to say the least. Jirachi, it's been a staple since it came out in Team Up. And Jirachi, you could just grab item cards. So with new cards such as Quick Ball or other search cards such as Electromagnetic Radar, Pokemon Communication, Mysterious Treasure, the list goes on and on and on. You can grab some search cards and get amply set up on the first turn. Basically the last card that we have in Standard that I'd almost consider about going first would be Dedenne GX. And Dedenne GX is just so you could use Dede Change. Kind of, it's like a supporter built into a card. It's at the expense of having uh, the Dene GX on your bench, but it does allow you to get through the first turn hurdle. If you are a player that plays a lot more of Expanded, I'd say that Shaman EX and Tropical Beach are very similar with Shaman's, um, almost like a Dedenne GX. They kind of fall in the two prize card Pokemon that you put on your bench to accelerate your board state. Tropical Beach, if you got the, if you got the pockets to sustain a card like that, it would allow you to draw cards on your first turn. So those are some cards that would make me consider going first, but now um, more so going second is kind of the new first because it's the exact same rules that you were able to go first and you're able to attack. So if you think about it, you can't attack on your first turn. You can't play a supporter, but if you go second, you can do those two things. For you to watch your opponent do basically nothing on their first turn, like let's say if your opponent's playing a Malamar deck and they're like, okay, cool, I started with Inkay. I'm attaching a Psychic Energy to a Gyratina that I'm playing down for my hands. So I've attached an Energy. Okay, let's play a Mysterious Treasure. Let's make sure that they can do something on their turn. But wait, their, their Lily is no longer playable on their first turn. So not only are they not drawing up to eight cards in their hands, they're not playing a supporter, period. They're not playing that Cynthia. They're not playing that Professor's Research. Their turns are actively going to be less. And then at that point, you could be sitting across from a Pika-Rom deck that's like, hey, by the way, I'm going to go Quick Ball, discard a Lightning Energy, grab a Tapu Koko V, Volkner, Lightning Energy, Stadium Nav, knock it with Full Blitz. And then at that point, who's winning the game is the question you want to ask yourself. And I think it sounds like the Picaron player is in a much better position. Now, that's not always going to be the case, but some decks that are likely able to kind of go first are the decks that are going to be quick. And they're going to be the decks that are going to be playing the cards like the Zacian V, Jirachi, Dene GX. So I think things like Picaron, um, it has access to electromagnetic radar, so it could search out to Dene GX. It could search out um, its Pokemon. It can get set up, essentially, and it has Jirachi. It has all these good cards. Zacian Metal or Zacian ADP are very similar in builds. They both have Zacian. So if worst comes to worst, if you could just get out a Zacian, you're able to attach, ex or should be able to at least attempt to use Intrepid Sword to attach extra energy and draw cards. So that sounds nice. And Expanded, again, if you're an Expanded player, I think that Turbo Dark, with it playing Dedenne GX and Shaman, and Mewtwo and Mew, with it playing Dedenne GX and Shaman, it seemed like a great, seem like decks that can just generally go first. Decks that don't necessarily have all the consistency going their way, 
will likely want to go second, you'll be able to use their supporters and attack on their first turn. So even if you're playing an evolution-based deck, kind of like a Stonjourner deck, even though it's an evolution-based deck and evolution-based decks before want to go first, it's one of those things where now it wants to go second so it can be able to get set up. It's more of the long haul game instead of the short term game. And that's that's the best way to look at it. And there's a lot of other decks that are just, they need to like change their core in order to be able to be playable in this format. So decks before that ran Green's Exploration, Professor Elm's Lecture, Professor Oak's Setup, Lily, they all seemingly get weaker because those supporters were great if you're going first. Now they're not bad if you're going second, but it's one of those things where um, Green's Exploration, for example, if you if you went first with a Green's Exploration deck because your opponent won the flip and went second, you might sit there with a Blacephalon from Unbroken Bonds and just pass. And you might just get smoked by a Picaram deck on the next turn. And I don't want to use Picaram as every example. You can get smoked by any deck going second. It doesn't necessarily matter. If you're just sitting there like a sitting duck and your deck requires these um, kind of robust supporters, whether you're trying to search out with uh, Professor Elm's Lecture to a bunch of Pidgeys and Pidgey Odo, or if you're just playing a Greens build of a deck, you, you got to watch out for some of these things. Professor Oak set up another card, mainly play it in the deck like uh, Floor Just Control. You won't be able to play those cards on the first turn, so you might need to play other cards like Quick Ball to be able to search out the card, the Pokemon that you want. Lily, another one, it, its effectiveness got cut by 50%. So not only do you have to have a Lily on your first turn, you now have to be going second to play a Lily. Um, and it's not really the most helpful supporter at this point. So it's effectively red is just draw until you have six. In that case, Cynthia is just a better supporter because you can usually see more. And then new supporters like Marnie are very good as well to just replace Lily. In Expanded, again, I want to bring up Expanded because it is a big format. Um, Bridget decks might need to find more resourceful cards. So let's say if you're building Zork, no longer can you go turn one, Tapu Lele, search out your Bridget and get prepared. Those decks might actually have to change a whole bunch more. So you might want to be playing Quick Balls with... Uh, propagation execute to be able to get set up very quickly you might see other cards like jirachi eventually find their way in expanded to just get past those weird first turn rules um, but like i said decks like turbo dark and mewtwo and you will continuously thrive because they have access to the gx and shaman to get set up the same way that pikaram would in standard so when you're practicing this format you want to make sure that you are practicing the new rule changes and you want to be prepared to stop yourself by going first by habit. I know whenever I win a coin flip, I'm like, yo, what's up? We're going first. This sounds good. But I don't want to catch those words at the tip of my tongue and let them slip out to the point where it's disadvantageous towards my board state or my game plan. And you want to make sure that you're also building decks appropriately with all these rules in mind. So as I said, like, I don't think that Green's Exploration is a dead card but Lily more or less is not as good as it once was. So if you're building a deck that Lily was your favorite supporter before, you might want to change that going forward. Or maybe your Green's Exploration build might need to change up a little bit. So make sure that like you actually know what kind of deck you're playing. If you're playing a Picarom, Zacian kind of deck like that, yeah, you might be able to go first, especially if your deck is built in order to go first with electromagnetic radar or the Zacians. However, I explained it earlier on in the video, that's cool. But if you're playing a bit of a slower build of a deck, so let's say it's an Obstagoon Sableye V deck, you might need an extra turn or so to get set up. So just kind of gauge where your deck is and what you have that's searchable and just kind of uh, build it up from there. That's really where I wanted to go over today. Um, while this is my own opinion, feel free to let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe on this content. Also, a huge shout out goes to our patrons supporting us at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. Really appreciate all of you. We put all of that back into upping our production quality on this channel. So huge shout out to all y'all. And uh, if you want to help out a little bit more, feel free to pick up some awesome merch at rarecandytcg.com. As for me, I've been Zach I'm Zach Lesage. You can follow me on Twitter at ZLesagePokemon. So be sure to check that out. That's it for this video. Have yourself a great day and stay tuned for more great rare candy content.